Now, Nigeria has already introduced technology in its education sector. According to Nigerian Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, he highlighted this at the 2024 Ed, uh, EdTech Conference in Abuja, highlighting the need for Africa to advance technical know-how in school learning. The ministry has now implemented 40 programs on the uh, DOOS and uh, focusing on uh, digital learning skills for both out-of-school persons and teachers across 36 states and alongside the federal capital territory. As part of the DOOS program we are pursuing, digitalization is part of the skilling and uh, we'll be in control of the contents. We'll be, we are developing uh, a curriculum which will be concluded uh, by end of August, ready for implementation by all schools in Nigeria from September. So content control is key to it, so that uh, some of these things you are talking about uh, don't become a problem. Uh, already we have been able to mobilize up to 2 million, 200,000, you know, young ones by various agencies. And uh, the Almagiri and Outer School Commission will start its own, which is actually the main commission set up for this purpose by law. So all these are going to be mobilized in numbers that can be meaningfully trained. The Minister of Communication and Digital Economy alighted the federal government's effort to boost digital technology in Nigeria, aiming to provide 9,000 kilometers of fiber cable, complementing the 5,000 already undertaken by the private sector. Apply that regardless of where you find yourself in Nigeria, that you'll be able to access the internet. So you start to think, see things like fiber optic cable to home, which means you're not just accessing the internet on your mobile, you actually have fiber, fiber internet to your home and you can set up a proper Wi-Fi which can serve everyone in the home. A lot of our schools, hospitals and critical institutions will now be connected once we're able to deploy that fiber optic cable. So that's what we, the work we're working on. We're hoping that the permit will start anytime between the next 8 to 12 months because the funding, which is a $2 billion fund, is now being put together to achieve that, that objective. That we can work with partners like the MasterCard Foundation to ensure that when we invest in schools, that we also invest in teacher training. Because if you put the technology in schools and the teachers don't know how to use it, they will abandon it. Now the MasterCard Foundation is investing in Nigeria's technology education, aiming to improve lives by building classrooms and investing in teachers, according to Chief Programs Officer Professor Peter Martiro. And what we are saying is there is a possibility to leverage technology to build systems that learners can use to access learning even when there is a shock like COVID or any other type of shock. So this is what this conference is about. Bring together those who are the key actors in this space. See, first of all, what is it that already exists that we can together leverage, but also how can we collaborate better so that in future we can have many more solutions that reach the majority of the people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news.